this is the new Yoga 7i for 2024. It's Lenovo's latest two-in-one, which is fully convertible, has an OLED touchscreen, and also comes with its own digital stylus. And it can be used in different form factors, and all of that versatility makes it really appealing to students and creative professionals. And I've been using this laptop for the last two weeks as my main device, and the specific one I have here is powered by Intel's latest Core Ultra 7 processor with Arc graphics. And in this video, I wanna share my experience with you guys. Should be a fun one, stick around till the end, and let's get started. Now, as always, I wanna start off this review by talking about the design and build quality. And the design of the Yoga 7i is intuitive. Like, it has these curved edges which make uh, the experience of holding the device really comfortable, and it doesn't have any sharp edges, and it's really thoughtful. Because this is a two-in-one, you're gonna be holding this device and using it in different form factors, uh, so it's really important that it is, you know, designed this way. And in terms of build quality, it feels really solid. It is metal uh, construction completely, so you have aluminum on the top, as well as on the bottom, and on the inside as well, like, everything feels really solid. Uh, the display assembly is really sturdy, there is no creaking, no flexing, and the hinge on this laptop is amazing. Like, for a two-in-one, to have a good hinge is really important, but this one uh, goes above and beyond. The hinge has the perfect amount of tension, it doesn't, you know, feel too tight or too loose, and you can, you know, prop the laptop in basically any angle you'd want. Uh, the only thing that they can improve in the future is the display wobble, like when you touch the display, and since this is a touch screen, you would be, you know, doing that a lot, it does wobble significantly, so that can be fixed, but overall, the bezels are really thin, and it feels compact, it's, you know, just under 1.5 kgs, 1.49 kilograms to be exact, and 16.7 millimeters in terms of thickness, which is not bad for a device that is, you know, this powerful. And the laptop also comes in this really nice tidal teal color with uh, anodized aluminum finish on the top. Now, it does attract fingerprints, but I have to say, this laptop looks really nice. Now, in terms of ports, on the left side, you have a full-size HDMI 2.1 port that's gonna give you 4K 120 hertz output without any issues. Next to that are two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, and these are really capable. Like, you're gonna get really fast transfer speeds, and you're also gonna use this port to charge the laptop, so it supports power delivery as well as display output. And it supports DisplayPort 2.1, so you'll be able to get high refresh rate as well as high resolution. Uh, and you also have a combo headphone and microphone microphone jack, and on the right side, you have a full-size USB-A port, this is 3.2 Gen 1, and a micro SD card reader, and followed by that is the power button. And for a two-in-one laptop that is in the thin and light category in 2024, this is actually really good, you know, impressive I.O. And talking about the vents and exhaust on this laptop, since this is not a gaming laptop, it doesn't have too many vents or exhausts. It's a very clean design overall. On the bottom, you have uh, air intake, and on the back, just below the you know display assembly, you have your exhaust vent. Now, since the Yoga 7i is a two-in-one and it has this fully adjustable 360-degree hinge, uh, it can be used in different modes. Of course, you can use it like a normal laptop, but you can also use it in the tablet mode, which is suitable for note-taking, drawing, or watching videos uh, if you're on the couch or in the bed. But be careful not to drop it on yourself in the bed. It is kind of heavy. Uh, you can also use it in the stand mode, which is gonna be useful if you're doing presentations at work. And let's say you're having your lunch and you wanna watch a quick YouTube video, you can prop it up in the tent mode. Uh, imagination is the limit here, so different use cases, different modes. All I'm trying to say is the hinge is really nice and it is a lot of fun to use this laptop in the different modes. Now quickly jumping inside the laptop and talking about the keyboard and trackpad, the Yoga 7i has a compact keyboard layout, which means you're missing out on the number pad here, but that's to be expected with this two-in-one form factor. But overall, the keys themselves are really nice and large, and they're well spaced out, except the top and down arrow keys. Uh, they're in their mini version for the sake of symmetry. Uh, you also have three levels of backlight brightness here, and the backlighting is really nice and uniform. It doesn't leak and it was a lot of fun uh, using this keyboard. I enjoyed typing on it. It's got good amount of feedback and good travel as well for a compact design. Uh, you have a dedicated function row on top, which has two layers of function. So you have quick shortcuts for media, brightness, and everyday tasks, and you can use the FN key to access your regular functions from F1 to F12. Now talking about the trackpad, for a 14-inch laptop, the size of the trackpad itself is really good and it's really smooth. I assumed it was glass, but it's actually a mylar surface, which is a different type of plastic. And yeah, it tracks really well, it's accurate, it supports all the gestures that Windows has. Now my only complaint here is that the clicks on this trackpad are kind of loud and noisy. 
It could annoy people around you, but that's not a problem. Uh, it's not a big deal breaker. Maybe Lenovo can fix that in the next iteration. The Yoga 7i has a full HD IR webcam on top with a physical shutter, so you can close it when you're not using it to protect your online privacy. There's a dual array microphone, and you can use this webcam to sign into the laptop using Windows Hello, so it does support facial recognition. Now, I personally prefer fingerprint readers. They're just more reliable and convenient in most circumstances. You guys let me know in the comments down below which is better, face unlock or fingerprint readers. And as far as the quality is concerned, here is a webcam test for you guys. Now here's a webcam test of the Lenovo Yoga Pro 7i and this is how the video quality is from the inbuilt camera. It's 2 megapixels but it is fully HD and this is also the audio quality from the internal microphones. Again, it does support AI noise cancellation so if you have, you know, stuff going on in the background it will try to cut down on that and just, you know, make your online meetings and calls sound better. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, sometimes slightly underexposed but other than that, the quality is fine and there's also a physical shutter so, you know, you could close it if you wanted to. Now for speakers, the Yoga 7i has two 2 watt speakers on each side of the keyboard and they are Dolby Atmos certified and in terms of quality, uh, they get plenty loud. They're there's decent amount of bass and clarity. Overall, sound quality itself for a laptop is good. Like if you're in a room by yourself, watching a video or a movie or something, it's a good enjoyable experience. It's just that this placement works really well for a normal notebook, but when you talk about a two-in-one form factor, let's say you put this laptop in the stand mode, the audio gets muffled. So that's that. I feel the speakers should have been in a different spot, but overall, if you're using them in the laptop mode, the quality is really good. In terms of hardware, the Yoga 7i is powered by Intel's latest core ultra processors. I have the Core Ultra 7 155H CPU here with 16 cores and 22 total threads. Uh, you have six performance cores, eight efficiency cores, and two low efficiency cores. And overall, this processor can boost up to 4.8 gigahertz and has Intel R graphics built in. Now you also have 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM at 7467 megahertz and you can also get this laptop with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. There is a terabyte of PCI Gen 4 NVMe SSD in here. Again, you can upgrade that when you're buying this laptop. The RAM here is not upgradable. It is soldered, so you know, get as much as you want when you're buying the laptop. And there is a 71 watt hour battery, which we'll talk about in a bit. Now, specs aside, talking about you know synthetic benchmarks and real world performance, I ran Cinebench 2024 and Geekbench 6, and the scores are on your screen right now, so you can compare it to other devices. Now talking about real-world performance, for everyday general productivity, this laptop was really solid. If you're doing email, browsing, watching videos, movies, uh, if you're a student or a working professional using you know, Microsoft Office apps, all of that is fine. Like this laptop can do that without any issues. You can also do you know, more heavier stuff like editing videos, editing photos, or programming. Uh, and since the display is nice and you have this pen, actually editing photos or doing illustrations is a lot of fun. We'll talk about the pen in a bit. And overall, I was able to push this laptop and had no issues in terms of performance. I was able to edit videos in Premiere Pro at 1080p, uh, multiple layers, some effects, some color grading, and it was able to handle that without any issues. Like the timeline was really smooth. I was also able to edit raw photos in Photoshop. Uh, I was able to you know, apply some adjustments and this laptop held up to all of that really well. So no issues with that. Now, even though it's not a gaming laptop, I did run Valorant on it and was able to play it at 1080p max settings and I was able to get around 140 FPS average. Now, it is a 60 hertz display, but you can still play Valorant on it. And let's say you connect an external monitor or something, it is a playable experience. Now, this in no way is geared towards gamers, but it's just to give you guys an idea of the performance on this laptop. Now, the Yoga 7i is also Intel Evo certified, uh, which means it has to tick certain you know, requirements to get that badge. For example, there is instant wake. So when you open up this laptop from sleep, it's ready to go instantly under one second. Uh, there is a full HD webcam, Thunderbolt 4. The list goes on. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can you know, learn more about Intel Evo. 
Uh, all you have to know is that all the requirements are really good for students and working professionals. Uh, one of the requirements is also fast connectivity. And the Yoga 7i has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. I was able to get really solid speeds on wireless internet. Uh, and that's really important for a laptop in 2024. You have to stay connected. The Yoga 7i is also AI enabled and there is a dedicated you know, NPU or neural processing unit inside uh, with the Core Ultra 7 processor. And there is a dedicated co-pilot button. So let's say you're on a web page reading an article, you can press the co-pilot button and ask it to summarize it for you and you'll get a short uh, summary of the web page. You can also generate images and get your queries solved on the go. And I'm really glad they integrated AI into this two-in-one form factor. It's going to be really helpful for students. Now, my favorite thing about the Yoga 7i is that display. It's a 14-inch OLED panel with a Full HD Plus resolution, so 1920 into 1200. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's a 60 hertz panel, but it is a 10-bit panel, so you get 1 billion colors, and it does cover 100% of the DCI-P3 color space, so you can use this for color-sensitive work let's say video editing or photo editing. Uh, it has Dolby Vision certification and supports display HDR 500. It can go up to 400 nits uh, in terms of the brightness in regular use, but you can go up to 600 nits when you're watching HDR content. Uh, it's also a touchscreen and it is a glossy display, so it does get covered in fingerprints, but that's fine. Like if you clean it up, it's gonna be fine. Now specs aside, using the display in real life is a really nice experience. So watching videos and playing games is a lot of fun. And since this is a taller aspect ratio, you have more vertical real estate. So let's say you're scrolling through web pages or documents, you see more content compared to a traditional 16 by nine display. The laptop also comes with a stylus. This is the Lenovo Digital Pen version two. Uh, it's very similar to a regular pen, feels really nice in the hand and has some heft to it and it's built really well as well. Uh, it has a you know, plastomer tip, which Lenovo says is gonna last really long. Uh, there's two buttons, which you can customize the functions for in the Lenovo pen settings software. I've just set it to eraser and right click. And this stylus is powered by a quadruple A battery and Lenovo claims a battery life of 2000 hours. Now for me, there was no way to test that. But hey, if it lasts anywhere above 1500 hours, I'm not complaining, that's good battery life. Now, I'm no expert at digital art or graphics design, but using the pen was actually a really good experience. There was no noticeable lag or latency. Uh, it was pretty much real time. And it's a plastomer tip, which, you know, Lenovo claims is gonna last long. It's got 4096 levels of, you know, pressure detection. There is also tilt detection here. And if you are serious about graphics design and, you know, digital art, this could come in handy, but it's gonna be very useful for students uh, who like taking notes uh, in class. So you could use an app like Evernote or OneNote and jot down stuff quickly. And trust me, this is gonna be very useful. Now, another area where the Yoga 7i excels at is battery life. It has a 71 watt hour battery and it charges via the USB type C port. Uh, you get a 65 watt power adapter included in the box and it does support fast charging. And I was able to get 12 to 15 hours of battery life with mixed use. So a little bit of gaming, some video editing, some photo editing, and just general stuff. Uh, you can get even more battery life if you're a light user, just doing basic stuff like email, browsing, watching videos and stuff. Lenovo claims that you can get up to 20 hours of battery life uh, with video playback. So that's really nice. And you know, having good battery life is really important. Like if you're a student or a working professional, you want this laptop to last, you know, all day long and you don't want to worry about charging it. And this laptop takes that box. It has a really good battery life. So if you're a student, you can get through a day of class or if you're a working professional, you can get through a day of office without, you know, really needing to charge this laptop. And when you do, as I said, it has fast charging so you can top it up really quickly. So battery life on the Yoga 7i is really impressive. And there you have it. That's my review of the 2024 Lenovo Yoga 7i. Uh, it's actually a really nice laptop, but who is it for? It's for people who want a laptop that can do the two-in-one thingy, uh, last really long, have solid performance, have a touchscreen. And if you're looking for a laptop with a stylus, this is actually a really solid option. And all of that just means that it's best suited for students and creative professionals. So if you are in that target group, if you're in that niche uh, of people who can make use of this two-in-one form factor, go for it. It's actually a really nice laptop. It does offer a lot of value, but it can seem expensive to some people at 1,20,000 rupees or $1,200 in the US. But there are other versions of this laptop that are cheaper that come with IPS display and a less performant Core Ultra 5 processor. So look into that if you have a slightly lesser budget. But that's pretty much it. Those are my two cents. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button. I'll drop links in the description down below so you guys can learn more about this laptop and also buy it from Amazon. And do use those links if you want to help the channel out. If you have any questions or queries, do let me know in the comments down below. I'll be there replying to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.